Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki, and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I want to talk about using ORC, Parquet, and Avro files uh, in Data Lake, particularly as we're uh, extracting data with Data Factory and loading it to files in Data Lake. And so to start, I want to show a screenshot of how we can set up a connection to a text file from Data Factory. And when we set a create a connection to a text file, uh, we have these choices of file format. And the three that I've highlighted here, the Avro, ORC, and Parquet, are what I want to talk about today. Now it's important to understand that Azure Data Lake really is an implementation of Apache Hadoop. And as such, ORC, Parquet, and Avro are actually uh, projects also uh, within the Apache ecosystem. And so uh, these were built on top of a Hadoop with Hadoop in mind, really. I mean, they were kind of um, one and the same in a lot of ways. Now, all three of these file formats were developed with the primary goal of uh, improving query performance. So if I've got data in one of these uh, file formats, the idea was that if we query it, my query results will be faster than anything that had been available before. Uh, all three really uh, focus on using compression. So they've got different compression algorithms, and that's really um, in, in summary how, how all three gain that, that performance. So ORC and Parquet uh, do it a little bit differently than Avro, uh, but, but the uh, end result, or the end goal anyway, is, is very similar. One of the primary differences with Avro that you'll see is that Avro does include, it does include the uh, schema definition of your data um, as JSON text that you can actually see in the file, but otherwise it's um, all in a, in a compressed format. And if you've got data in either of these three formats, we can use Data Factory to read that out of Data Lake. A couple other features of these types of files um, as compared to text files and, and JSON files uh, is that if we're reading data from a source system, it's more flexible as far as a text formatting. And so specifically, we don't have to choose uh, column delimiters, row delimiters, or text qualifiers. And we've worked with a couple of clients specifically where we're uh, pulling data from Salesforce. And, and uh, in, uh, this is not uh, exclusive to Salesforce, but Salesforce does have a lot of fields that have um, large, large text values. And it's really, really hard to, to load that data into a text file uh, without running into problems with delimiters, et cetera. And so, uh, using ORC, Parquet, or Avro um, is, is a way around that. Now, I, I ran just a very, very small uh, test here, and I want to show you the results of this on this next screenshot here. And I just had a, a really a simple table in a SQL database with a couple hundred rows, and I just dumped the contents of that table to the five uh, file formats that are available uh, from data factory when we load to Data Lake. And uh, just wanted to highlight the size of these. Now again, this is a pretty small file, but you can see that when I load to ORC and Parquet, that the file size is, is considerably smaller than, uh, than the other three. Um, the Avro file is kind of a, not a great example here, because again, I've got a, um, a pretty small data set. So uh, in this example, it kind of compares size-wise to the uh, .txt file. Um, but at any rate, you'll see that the JSON file is still um, not surprisingly pretty large. So the takeaway here is that ORC and Parquet are, are very, very highly compressed, and that's going to lead to um, fast query performance. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about these file types or your Azure Data Lake or Data Factory, please reach out. Let us know. Thank you.